Hi there. In this video, we'll be taking a good look at this uh, Kaiwitz KVB01 battery tester. This is really useful to have. For example, uh, I've changed my car battery, I think, five years ago, something like that. And uh, at the moment it's kind of iffy. If it's really cold outside, uh, it starts, but uh, it's not happy at all. So any day she could uh, decide, nope, not starting anymore. But something like this can give me a much better image of what's happening with the battery. And if it's just that it didn't properly got to charge because I'm not driving enough or it actually cannot provide the, the required current, uh, although it is charged, but it just cannot handle uh, starting a car anymore. As you can see here, screen, measure, confirm, navigation buttons, language switch, ex escape, backspace basically, and record view button, and the pliers to test. And this is how it will look. Quite nice packaging, honestly, I like this. So it can do battery test, cranking test, which actually sees uh, if the battery provides the necessary current to, to start your engine. Loading test, I think it's, uh, it's basically charging test. Oh no, loading test, charging test, they are different. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it's just a different wording for the same thing, but if they are both present in there, it means they are not uh, the same. Ooh, and now stuff gets interesting. We actually have a proper manual in here. Yep, there's more to it than, uh, <laughs> than I thought. Really nice carry pouch. Good quality material. Carry handle on it. Let's see how big the tool is actually. And it is actually quite big. And the cables themselves are more uh, uh, beefier than I uh, had the idea, honestly. You can see these really nice uh, and separate compartments in here. And this is actually padded. So, uh, and both in here and on the sides. So this whole thing is padded to protect it, which is great. And here we have a table. So based on uh, the cubic centimeters of your motor, you can guess from this table about how much um, uh, current for cranking the motor you should be getting from the test. But normally it should be also written on the battery. But depends on the battery that you have. So in the absence of any battery info, go from this table. And uh, yeah, these uh, are decently thick wires. Although from what I see now, it's actually, they are not like um, jump starting cables where there's a lot of copper inside. They are thick, but it's mainly insulation and they have two wires basically inside both of them let's see yeah one wire is going to one side and they are soldered you can see the solder so those are making contact for sure so i think it's somehow to make sure that you have a proper contact so if any of these sides actually makes a good contact for sure you are getting it uh, to the unit and yeah same in here again soldered both of them okay that's nice and these pliers are really really strong i like that and also seem uh, seem really good quality and basically the spring itself which keeps them open is keeping the cable in position so you cannot rip it out of here from place to place they have uh, this um, velcro which is removable so depending on your uh, position where you are testing your battery and the distance between the contacts you can 
remove or not remove uh, some of these uh, velcros in my car i think i will actually need to remove one because the battery itself is in the trunk but i need to read the manual i don't know if i need to test directly on the battery it could be a bit tricky to test directly on the battery for my particular car model or i can test on the jump starting po points under the hood those are way more accessible if i can test on those that would be much uh, easier uh, hmm. i thought this will have internal batteries we should be reading the manual maybe it has maybe it doesn't maybe it just relies on the battery from the car when you turn it off but what i know for a fact peel time Ah, nice. So I had a quick read. Uh, this does not have batteries. It's basically relying on what it gets from this. Anything above uh, 9 volts and below 35 volts will make it run. And I think I finally understand the difference between loading and charging. Loading test wants to see if your car is able to keep the required voltage when you have... Um, stuff uh, turned on like headlights uh, uh, window defroster electrical things that consume a lot vent uh, uh, fan inside the car basically things that um, consume a lot of electrical power and your voltage must be at least uh, higher than 12.8 volts for charging test you do not start all those um, consumers and you must be above 13.3 volts so yes there are two different tests for the battery test you choose the standard onto which your battery was uh, tested so basically mine has 800 uh, amps cold cranking uh, current in en standard so i need to test this one and I need to go up to 800. Be back in a second. Actually, no. It's going quicker if you hold on onto it, which is good. And now test. And I'm getting a warning because uh, state of health seems really low at this point. Also, the battery discharged overnight, it's really cold now. And now we are looking at my wife's car battery. 740 amps, EN standard. So, let's see what we get now with the test. Tester is ready. Obviously, battery voltage went down overnight because it's really cold. Hit enter, 12 volts. Battery test, same uh, type we move to en and 740 we need to go and hit enter and just wait <laughs> so this isn't low but the cold cranking is much better this isn't that happy either in the cold but uh, yeah still not bad so we are inside the car now again the cable is reaching really well no issues whatsoever and let's see cranking test okay where's the pedal let's see now let's see loading test so uh, how do i turn on the lights on her car Okay, on, on, okay, high beams also, and let's get it to 2000, but not by pressing the brake, that will not work. Oh, hers is more stable than mine, nah, no, sorry, it was rising too quickly. Whoa, 15 volts. 
horse is charging even more than mine okay I guess we got our answer <laughs> good so low test is good let's uh, switch off some uh, lights in here and escape charging test even higher we need to go so basically the voltage is a bit too high it's above 15 volts which again might not be great but uh, can something be done about this to get the voltage lower than 15 volts interesting I will do a bit of online research but yeah we saw the attention sign <laughs> for uh, too high voltage it seems Okay, so something wasn't working properly with the cranking test, so I contacted Kaiwitz and uh, it seems they actually had some problems with uh, a batch of uh, these units. So they sent a replacement unit. Let's take a look. Yes, yeah, so 88 is the one that has a, a little bit of a problem with cranking test and this is a newer batch as can be seen from the serial. Um, so yeah, now I will wait for a little bit of colder weather to come back because now we have late spring temperatures although we are still in winter so my car and my wife's car are starting like that and I want to see a bit of harder starting uh, of the car to properly see what uh, this tests uh, in the battery so yeah, wait for the weather now thanks Kaiwitz for uh, solving this really quickly let's give it power that's basically spot on 0 0.01 difference this could have such an error this could have such an error it's insignificant honestly um, let's raise this it's basically again spot on ready to do the cranking test it's cold outside <laughs> so I really wanted to see some values but this might not be a 100% real indicative of uh, the state of the battery because I don't think you're supposed to test when it's this cold but uh, this will at least show us much better uh, how this should be working so this lower unit is the good one let me go into cranking test and top one again cranking test and you can see there's already a difference this is directly somehow giving us the result so this is no bueno but let me try something else what test has so what do we need to see there dynamic cranking and standard let me look at loading test what does it have enter so it has dynamic minimum and standard okay yeah i'm i'm being given attention ignore that let's see if the minimum uh, value will be the same or close one to the other i'm getting ready to start the car So 8.64 was the minimum and in here 8.29 so and radio just started it's ah oh, come on radio shut off it's quite close enough this one uh, as you can see displays a little bit lower but that could be just because I have them connected in different ways uh, I, I couldn't connect them all together at the same place but uh, this will maybe not be ideal to be interpreted in here it's okay but in here not because we are in a different test but 
even such a unit with a little firmware problem can be used for this but uh, in a different mode and you just read the value yourself you don't expect it to give it uh, properly right here uh, your uh, answer but in here uh, yeah no bueno but this is because the car was really really cold but i really wanted to see how this should work and now it's quite clear how it should work let me go to my wife's car that one has been driven more these days uh, i don't think it will show anything like this let me try again and start the engine okay so yeah the voltage difference is from the way they are connected because again they are not connected in the same place my wife's car doesn't seem to be that happy either in really cold mornings okay another test on my car same day but it's in the evening after i drove um, a little bit through the city so it should be much better charged the engine should be warm and uh, it's much warmer outside i think it's almost 20 degrees, uh, degrees uh, warmer at this point let us see cranking test and get ready Ooh. okay so <laughs> yeah this battery and the fuel uh, are not that happy it seems so that's about it thank you very much Kaiwitz for sending this tool in uh, the other one that had a slight issue with cranking test I showed uh, that it can still be used uh, with a bit of uh, trickery so yeah there's that but this one is working flawlessly the new batch which is perfect and uh, this will be used to keep an eye on uh, the family cars so <laughs> yeah that's about it Thank you very much for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask uh, in the comments and as always see you in the next one bye